Hi, I'm John Carruthers from Butterscotch.com, and welcome to your tutorial series on the iPhone 4 from Apple. In this episode, we're going to look at multitasking. Now, multitasking is a new feature on the iPhone series of phones. We looked at it to, uh, on the iOS 4 series. iOS 4 is the new operating system running on the iPhone 4 and uh, available to upgrade to on the iPhone 3GS. Multitasking is basically the ability to run multiple apps at the same time. If you want to learn more about the implications and why, you can check out our uh, tutorial on multitasking in the iOS 4 series. To engage in multitasking on this, we uh, have the menu button at the bottom, we double tap it, and that'll bring up the multitasking bar instead of the dock. So the dock flies into the back and now we have the multitasking bar and we can swipe back and forth to get to the apps that we want to. Now, there was limited multitasking before with uh, Apple's apps, so you could play the iPod and then do something else in Apple, uh, in Apple's apps. But now you can actually do that with other apps. You have to, these applications like Slacker in this case, needs to rewrite their application from the old version to a new one that supports Apple's multitasking protocol. So now when we press play and get uh, some music running, we can actually double tap again and go to a different application. So if we wanted to Say, let's go back to Earth AR, which is a strange little application that has a rotating plan here. Where as you spin your phone, it moves around, and you actually have a camera in the background. But you notice that the music is still playing for Slacker. Now, we can go back and go back to Slacker and skip to a different track, or we can just press pause, like so. And, uh, and the other one, we can go back to that, and that's still running in the background. And we don't necessarily want these things running in the background. So if an application isn't written to multitask, uh, it will crash, basically. It'll stop hard, it will crash, it'll reset. It basically won't work as we've just seen here. So um, sometimes you may just want to stop running these applications in the background. So to go to, and do that, you would double tap here, say hold down on an application that you want to get out of memory. So these things do eat up into the memory. and. Uh, it, uh, it can slow down the phone a little bit, potentially. Uh, they, they've written it so that it won't slow down performance or the phone any more than necessary, but sometimes you might still want to get rid of them here. So we've got these things running in the background. We've got iMovie, so we just hit the mi minus sign. That'll disappear. Slacker will get rid of all of this. So we can keep doing that until we've got all of the things out of memory that we want to get out, and then press the menu button again. So that will take them out of memory and uh, we'll have to, it won't actually take them off of the, the phone altogether. So you notice if we go, we still have Slacker here on the main menu system, it'll just take it out of the multitasking display, which means it won't be ready to launch at a second's notice. So if we want to go back, we can tap on that and it'll start up again as before. So there you go. That's a quick look at multitasking on the iPhone 4. Don't forget to check out the other parts in this series on other features in the iPhone 4. Thanks for watching. Hey, this is Doc. If you're looking for a cheap and easy way to put your own content on the web, go get domain names from Hover.com. Just visit Hover.com slash Butterscotch and you'll get 10% off and support shows like these. Thanks.